Plans for a new ECU Aviation Institute is in the works. Project leaders say the proposed institute could bring educational and employment opportunities to the east. On your side, Aaron Dean is in our newsroom now with more on these proposed plans. Aaron. Ken, Angie, project leaders call this plan a way to keep aerospace companies in eastern North Carolina competitive. Uh, and it's not, it's not just an ECU effort. It's, a, it's an ECU effort. It's a, an Elizabeth City State effort. It's community colleges in the region all coming together. Coming together to develop plans for a new aviation institute here in the east. Because there's this spectrum of need. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, there's, there's maybe 70% or so of need for highly skilled touch labor. Uh, about the, the balance of 30% would be engineering type capabilities and then other capabilities like business, leadership, project management. Uh, cybersecurity, innovation and research and things like that. Keith Wheeler works for the ECU Office of National Security and Industry Initiatives. He's one of the project leaders. Uh, but something like that maybe spread a little more regionally in eastern North Carolina would be uh, something that would suit the bill. And we're still in kind of the early discussions on that. North Carolina is a leader in aerospace initiatives in the United States with more than 200 aerospace companies in the state. That's according to the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina. There could also be uh, components at community colleges and even down into the high schools if, uh, if we, you know, get this right. But if all goes according to plan, this can add a lot of benefits to ECU, its students, and Eastern North Carolina. Uh, student success, student involvement in, in real world application of technology and innovation, as well as uh, very good, well paying jobs in the area. So what's next? The project leaders say they don't want to drag their feet on this project. They plan to continue to meet with stakeholders in the near future. In the newsroom, Aaron Dean, not on your side. Aaron,